so that you can get notifications about all this wonderful knowledge that we're throwing your way. Yeah. Leave comments down below about stuff that you want us to talk about or that you want us to sing about, all that kind of good stuff. Anyway, today we're coming at you with a different kind of video. Um, and one of the things that people don't know about us, if you don't know us personally, we're working to get to know you guys and get more acquainted, you guys get more acquainted with us. We actually um, do everything, like we are in the middle of having a long distance relationship. Darren and I work in two different cities and two different states. Um, so we usually only, we don't see each other during the week at all. Um, even when we're filming, we like, we have to film on like, you know, the weekends. We usually like- <laughs> Stockpile set, everything. Yeah, in, yeah, we like set aside like one day specifically, usually to just kind of film and kind of stockpile and everything like that. But, um, a lot of times when I tell people that they they're kind of like they don't really know how to accept it well oh well long distance well how do y'all make that work and are you sure that he's not cheating or you're not cheating on him and all that kind of stuff and um, I don't know but we just we make it work and you know I think a lot of times when it comes to relationships specifically um, romantic relationships that we sometimes want things to be perfect or we want um, things to just line up, you know, just, you know, perfectly. I'm sorry, not being <laughs> redundant. But it doesn't always happen that way. And so, like, right now, we had a plan to film, like, like right now. But I actually, I end up, there has to be a change of plans. And I have to be back at work before I initially anticipated. And so now I'm actually, um, I'm leaving today. So we're filming, like, he's gonna drop me off and everything and we're just filming on the way and so we wanted to do like a quick little video and talk about how we do what we do yes, and how we make it work and then give you guys some takeaways so why don't you take it away Dee? okay um, basically with the uh, long distance uh, kind of 101 um, I think the big thing is just like staying creative and I think that's one thing that we we really strive to do is stay creative with how we interact with one another um, you know, you you would alluded to the fact of like the trust, like trusting one another while you're apart. You know, how do you know, you know, what the other person is doing? And I think a lot of that just really stems with like transparency yes. and and consistently doing so. You know, a lot of times you can get busy and be like, well, I'll do this and I'll tell them later, and then later turns into never or or whatever. So one thing that we do is consistently, like even if it's something small, like an interaction with somebody, you know, just continually like kind of reporting in hey I want to keep you in the loop you know such and such like I'm going out with some friends this is this is where it's at and it helps to build like transparency you know it, it also brings up conversations about like well you know here's how I feel about this here's how I feel about this so you do have to be intentional about talking about how you feel um, you know uh, about a, a certain situation or an interaction past that um, we do like long distance dates and um, it's it's been pretty fun like We'll do, uh, actually, if you watch the Miles Have No Measure video below, it's one of the first videos that we posted up. A lot of it is videos that we've sent back and forth to one another. So with that, like, you just, <laughs> I just did the break show, I'm sorry. Um, it's like, don't show this to my insurance company. Anyway, what what we were talking about was it's it's small snippets of videos that we've done back and forth to one another and that's just be like anywhere from like well when it was a uh, messenger before the iphone before i got an iphone he uh, used to be team android now i was team, team android iPhone. yeah and so before that now we would send it um, facebook messenger so it was a two minute video so sometimes it would be like a 30 second or something like that you know we would get done working out we'd get done we'd be in town doing something um, like going to music going to music like, thing yeah 
film and be like, hey, you know, check out what I'm doing, da da da. So it's almost like we're in the moment with each other. Exactly. We're celebrating it. And you can do that because you can't always FaceTime, like all the time. Right, you can't always FaceTime. And, and even when you are FaceTiming, I mean, that's just like one aspect, which is awesome. We, we, use, we utilize FaceTime a lot, but yes. we want to just be really creative. We go to movies together, movies, like we find out what movies. time movies are showing. Um, and we try to get it like as close to a line as close as we possibly can. I'm not gonna be like like they don't always start like maybe his starts at seven, mine starts at seven oh five, his starts at seven, mine starts at seven fifteen. We don't like get it like perfectly, but we send each other pictures, we text. I know that it tells you not to text during the movie. We like sit in the back row. Well, I know I do, so that my phone doesn't shine. But we like text each other during the movie. Or go so it's the like we're there. yeah. Or like we text each other during the movie, so it's like we're there with one another, and it's it's very like helpful um, because it's like we're in the moment together. And I think one of the biggest takeaways that I have as far as like long distance relationships is I think people think that that puts a lot of like limitations on your relationship. Well, you can't do this, we can't do that. Well, when do y'all see each other? When we can. But if you're serious and you're committed about being with someone, you do whatever you have to do to make sure that you have that communication that you have that connection even if you're not necessarily like always face to face and my dad I quote him a lot but my dad shout out to you again dad um told me one day that it's not necessarily about the distance that you that that separates you from someone else but it's about where you are in your heart towards someone and from that Darren and I did like this spinoff we're writing a song about it that says like miles have no measure when our hearts are together and I think that our hearts are always with one another and because of that, it makes it so much easier being apart. And that's not, that's not to say that it's not that it's not oh, time. The time. We miss yeah. each other all the time. Right. Okay. Every day. But we we're always communicating with one another. We're sending each other pictures of food, talking about what we're eating. You know, just little things, little nuances that help us to consistently make sure that we're keeping the lines of communication open yeah. and that we're really making uh, an effort to be with each other, even when we are not necessarily in each other's presence. That's it. So. That's it. So be creative. If you're doing the long distance thing, hang in there. If you believe you're, you know, that's the person that you're supposed to be with, you know, then a little distance is not going to, you know, deter you from that. That's so, right. you know, making sure that you don't take each other for granted and making sure that you consistently make it an effort just to maintain communication. Yes. And don't think about what you can't do. Don't be like, oh, there are all these stipulations. Think about what you can do. And if you are considering like being in a relationship but there's no way to do it other than like long distance don't like completely be dismissive of it because it's not like you know it's not convenient it's not as far as proximity is concerned proximity because you can you can be you can still be productive together uh in separate places That's and right. we would do uh the workouts together you know it's like yep we work out together work out at the same time yeah they're like i'm getting ready to get it in all yep. right and we would just schedule you just hey when are you when are you free to do it mm -hmm. just like you were meeting a friend at the gym yep so yep so we hope that that's some things that help you and um don't stop loving you know exactly. we've had disagreements long distance too yes and it's important that i do think that some things are best handled in person Most definitely. but i think one of the takeaways that i'm also going to say is that if there is a disagreement that arises don't be dismissive or say that we need to talk about it in person because you just don't want to talk about it. There was actually, um, what was it, Thursday? Yep. We had a, we had like a, a disagreement, like, and it was it was a pretty hefty one. I didn't want to talk. It about was Mondo. It. Like I I did not want to talk about it. I was getting ready to go to bed. I was like, I'm I gotta work in the morning. I'm I'm done with this, and it, it's not good. It's not good to go to bed like angry or upset. Um, but Britt was like, hey, you know what? We need to hash this out. We need to talk about this now. And I was talking and I was surly. Like, I really was, like, at the beginning. But then the more we talked about it and the more I expressed my concern, then there was, like, a, a, a weight that was lifted off in the moment because there were, like, some underlying issues that, like, came forward. And that was that was probably, like, the best night's sleep, like, that I had had. And it was it was because of you. And you're, you were, like, her um, just... Um, adamant like hey listen we gotta we gotta talk to this and we gotta and it's it's important to do that it's not my nature to do uh to sit and be like all right we're just gonna hash it out mine is typically a you know like the, what is it fight or flight um 
I, I tend sometimes to, to go towards the flight and be like, well, we'll just talk about it later. He's a, he likes to put it off. I do. I put I'm, I, I put stuff like that off. And but, I think sometimes it's okay to do that. Yeah. But I think that sometimes... This was not a time. That wasn't a time to do that. <laughs> because it was it was causing a lot of uh, anxiety. And then it was also... It was putting a wedge right between us. So... It was it was difficult because you want to talk to somebody in person so they can see like your your mannerisms and how you're like conveying your tone. But if you just if you push through it, like you know, do it. Well, I recommend doing it. Like it's not not my favorite thing to do. Or it's not anybody. always convenient. Yeah, it's not always convenient. But growth but, is not always convenient. Right. But don't feel like hurts. that if y'all are not in the same. It does hurt. It is painful. Mm -hmm. But don't feel like if you're not in the same like location as someone that that means that growth doesn't have to take place. Right. And one thing that I want to say to you, and this is the last thing that I'm going to say, is that I really do appreciate the fact <laughs> that you listened to me when you were like, I really don't want to talk about this. And I was like, no, we need to talk about this. Right. And he was ready to get off the phone. He wasn't He wasn't in a good space. But he listened and, you know, he's very compliant, as it were. I hate to use that word because it reminds me of, like, law enforcement. But either way, right. I'm just saying, like, he was like, okay, and we were able to talk about it, and he was so glad that we did. So, yeah. you know, be be open to one another, humor, humor one another, be compliant with one another, and learn to just, like, listen to listen, your partner, yeah. and and that way you guys can grow together, even when it's uncomfortable. And even when it's not something that you would necessarily do. Right. Like, I did that earlier today, and I'm glad I did it. You were like, no, no, you know, don't even waste your time. And I was like, in my mind, I was like, I really want to do this, but I'm going to respect her and what she says because I, that I feel like that's a very um, uh, respectful thing to do is respect someone's wishes and what they you know ask of you. So anyway, hope this was helpful. Leave yeah. some comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and tell your friends and your friends' friends and your friends' friends' friends and your friends' 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 friends. friends. You hear where I'm going and, with this? And their and their mother <laughs> and your family members and your significant other. Anyway, we love you guys. Love you. See you next time.